Welcome back, everyone, to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope all of you are having a wonderful night. It is almost Friday, which is a wonderful day indeed. How's everybody doing? How about we start off with episode 4, Turnabout Goodbyes. Time to begin the next episode, shall we? Can't wait to see what happens here. I feel like this is gonna be crazy. It's been what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. Like, really? You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've... suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. Phoenix needs to sleep. At last. I shall have my revenge. What? Wait. Whoa, gun! Merry Christmas! I didn't know Joker's here! Whoa! His neutral attack is a go- Edgeworth? Edgeworth is in Smash Brothers? I mean, no, really, seriously. Why does Edgeworth have a gun? Why does my boy have a gun? Why does my boy have a gun on Christmas? What kind, what kind of present is that? Merry Christmas! Neutral beep! What? When did I do the, the end of chapter 3? Like... Wednesday? No, Monday. No, Tuesday. No. Monday? When did I do it? I did do it. I don't... I remember now. I did it on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. I did it on Sunday. I did a second stream to finish it. Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Pixel Dog, thank you for the 10 bit of ruse. And speaking of 10, CB started her 10 day spring break. Merry Gunness. Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand another. Preferably a freezing one. Uh, oh. Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elephants and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gore Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but thumbs the brakes. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! <laughs> so much for rushing spring waters. She's gonna take a freezing cold shower then? Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gore Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip of, in, in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, locals are confident that Gordy is the real deal. Ah, boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Huh? The water pressure's kinda low in that shower. Oh yeah, I just forgot- I forgot to mention, there's a shower inside our law office. Why is there a shower in the law office? You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the- <laughs> Okay, I love this. Spray you with the hose. Good idea, nigga! Oh my goodness, she's actually gonna do- it. Apparently, Faye Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. Is she going down to the fire department and say, Spray me, boy! <laughs> she's get, she gets blown away by the freaking fire pressure. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. 
strange occurrences continue at Gore Lake, but this time, it's murder! Gore Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Huh? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yeah! Mamaya! The fireman yelled at me when I called in. We've got bigger things to worry about than that! They arrested Edgeworth! What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in the murder! What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick! Or we're just gonna go to Edgeworth and say, hey, we're gonna def we're gonna defend ya. But hold on, I wanna see how Charlie's doing. Whomst? Whomst Donis even? Whomst? Me, his favorite player. <laughs> Whomst? His name is Charlie. Maya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. Aw, Charlie's doing well. Maya brought in a post of the Steel Samurai the other day. We had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. To change everything. Difficult, lo difficult looking legal books standing in a formidable world? They mock me. They mock me. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand, then my foot hurts too. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. Mia's desk. If we had more clients, I would probably sit here more often. Lately, I've been spending more time on the couch watching TV. Not making money. It's sad, I know. It's really sad. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. In the murder room. Murder mansion. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. You're right. We need more info. Same aimlessness and confusion for later. I just love the... Pointless banner. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath a waterfall. Well, too bad. All I got is my badge. You know, I think it's developing a nice look. I just love that the badge brings up new dialogue. Like, if you don't present your badge to everybody, no one's gonna talk about it. How come pe people won't know if I'm a lawyer if I don't show my badge everywhere? That thing is developing a nice luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We've got work to do. I suppose you're right, but... My badge, though. My badge. Alright, let's go check out Mr. Edgeworth. Merry Christmas, Edgeworth. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Yeah, just mention to, just mention to your new client... I've been in jail once. Edgeworth! It's really late for you, Phoenix. Then go to sleep, then. Go to sleep. It's more important to get some rest than watch a sloth. You can watch the archive. There's always an archive. Ah! Did... Edgeworth? Did he just leave? Edgeworth's like, mm, bye. Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What do you want? I'm angry. What are you doing here? You want to see the live? Well, I'd rather you see the archive. Live archive. They kind of rhyme. Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Who would be? He's in prison. Well, he is in detention, you see. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing. Nick, should we be laughing? Yes. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth, cry? Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Who's laughing now? Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. We have all that time. Alright, let's laugh. Ah! I hope you wouldn't come. Hey, don't stay awake a whole night. I tried doing that. It stinks a lot. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. 
I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Aw, oh, poor Edgeworth, he's in jail! Smile for the camera, Edgeworth! By the way, how's the guard, though? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch since I came in, a real pro. Or maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. I love how there's always an, excu an excuse why he can't move at all. Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth, let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right. But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust the what behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never! What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? You tried once, but didn't finish good. Well, don't try it again. Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Hey, dwarf, tell me what happened. I, I, I suddenly knew what he was going to say. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey, sure you got lucky in one on three, but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Well, just know I'm pretty sure Epi episode three took like four hours. I won't be finishing this episode tonight. I'll continue this on Sunday. Well, this episode, basically. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? She's getting angry for everybody. The murder took place at Gore Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. M Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll... tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But the Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Why not, Edgeworth? Come on! Look, just go away and leave me alone! Nick? Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere! But, Nick? Oh, Edgy. Come on, Edgy. Alright, let's go to Gorlick Nature Park. Wow, that sign looks clean, though. Look how clean that sign is. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gore Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Whoa, pal! There's enough of us here! Anyone found anything? So sorry, sir. Nothing! Idiot! The draw's tomorrow! We need clues on the double! But, but sir... There weren't any clues, that's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth! It's clear, sir. He's the one who- SHUT UP! Just you try saying that again! I'll- I'll- I'll make you sorry if you do! So just- just get out of my face, pal! Y yes sir Gumshoe's kinda scary today. Recruits! Puh. Ah! Ah! Hey, you're the hairy guy! Hairy butts! Right, Phoenix, right! Right, you're right, though. Will you ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. 
Oh, he seems really sad. So sad gum shoes a bad gum shoe. That badge! You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal! You ought to show that to someone who needs it! All right, but first I want to talk to you. Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Well, okay, Miss I had in the fluffy pink clouds, lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gore Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? You love the whole three games? Well, I'm loving the first one so far. A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. He looks so shocked, though. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. You're right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh, no. After all the hell Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. This is sad. I is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth, hope you get your client declared innocent. I, I know. I want to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who was this witness? Eh, hey, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out in the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I forgot. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want me to ask you about before I head back? Yeah, the autopsy report. Well, yes, do you have any information on the victim? Oh, no. Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, see, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? All right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Cool, we got the directions received from Gumshoe. Drawn with crayon. Oh, hey, Gumshoe. W what? Um, we like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you info. Right, now let's get investigating. First, I want to check out this place. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. What is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. Yes, my poetry has that effect on some people. They turn numb. The sign says Grow Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But, no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. 
Not that I know of, unless they really do. That should be something that I should know about. Alright, let's move on towards the public beach. The beach. Gorlick leads to a beach? Samurai dogs? Wowzers, this is Gore Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope, I don't know. But let's check out this place. Wow, Gore Lake is really big. Yeah. St. Nick, why is it called Gore Lake? Oh, well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it's because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, if it is, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. So, an entirely different reason. A line of a plastic bunch plastic. I guess the idea is that you buy a dog and eat it. They eat it here. Can I take this out of context? I'm gonna take that out of context. I guess the idea is that you buy a dog and eat it here. Let's just take that out of context, shall we? I'm sure it's a good thing to take out of context. Samurai dog. It's a dog with a blade. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya. If she had a samurai dog. Oh yeah, what are these? Ah. Center Ace Attorney Out of Context Twitter. Wait, is there an Ace Attorney Out of Context Twitter? I need to know. Someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Stevie posted in the Discord. I want to see it later. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on a minute. You just want to pop them, right? Wasn't that obvious? Poppers. Huh. Sure, why not? I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Wait, she has pockets? I didn't know she has pockets. Oh, wait, I didn't see what they say. A classic party noisemaker. Pull the string, it goes bang. Not very clue-worthy. Are you sure, though? These look like a, This looks like an important clue, though. A very important clue. Alright, Phoenix, have a nice sleep. I'm sure you'll come back for the good part next time on Sunday. The hot dog stand is closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Are you sure? I like it. It looks really great. Huh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left boat docks, right exit. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. That's good. At least people are recycling. That's the more important thing. The Lake Woods. Whoa, look at that camera. I wish I had a camera like that. I like it. Oh no, it says no camping. And there's a guy with like X'd out with an X'd out face. Look at his face. He's like, ah, no camping. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guns camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. But oh, in the van? Or the SUV? This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Me neither. It's like Christmas. Hey, Nick. Oldie voice. Let's go camping. No. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering. Why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Aluminum. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then. I'm not having this conversation. Why aluminum? Anything but that. The trees grow quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can reach them. Um, I want to talk about the sign. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch a tent. Wait, what if the sign says no setting tent on fire? What? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Why would there be a sign about that? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. 
Furnix, I'm checking everything out. I can't examine everything. I'm playing the game. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. What should I check besides the camera since that's what I'm supposed to check now? I don't know. Maybe I should check the camera. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well, what then? These things? Oh, that's the reason we need them? The party poppers. Whoa! Whoa, okay, it's getting- Whoa, we're getting clicked out, we're getting clicked out. Well, it responded. Yeah! Hey, you, oh. Hey, you, get your hands off of that. Uh, what in the Sam Hill? Oh, no. Look what you've done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what, huh? So sorry. Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills. You know how much a roll of that film cost? Uh, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Me, yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those styles and folks talk with that exaggerated draw while they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help. And who are you now, her chaperone? Yeah, no, rather, uh, we're sort of, uh, friends? Just figure out what y'all gonna say and say for Vegism's sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws and listen to you stutter all day. Oh, boy. I guess we should pay here for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Goodness, she is not happy. My badge? I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. Well, what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle me to look at things in you. N no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hide. Come to think of it, where did my get to? So sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never your mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if, <clears throat> if it pleases you. But thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart, but you can just call me Lada. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya. Goodness. She's a character. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night, late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Yeah, I gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I ain't seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I seen when. So, what does he do, Lada? Huh? Me? Huh. Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at university, Country U. Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Uh, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? D didn't I tell you that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made of genuine solid gen. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off by itself when I found my party popper. Oh, that? That might trigger the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A program, a programmable camera, neat. Oh, nice. That's evidence now. It faces the lake. 
automatically takes a picture when a loud noise is detected. Or with a party popper, it just goes the whole time. Lada? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yeah? Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right, now wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? Ah, there we go. I guess it would. Your camera. This invisible Joy-Con. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! Oh boy, she's gonna say yeehaw. That was one yeehaw. I'm gonna check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? They always say yeehaw, but never say yeehaw ye. She went inside her USV SUV. I guess we should come back later. Yeehaw? Yeehaw? What? Ew! Alright, next up, boat rental shop. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop, closed for Christmas, it seems. You heard me, I said yeet a horn, that's disgusting. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea, you bet. Yeah, by the time we finish, the lake will be frozen. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Either that or because a murder happened. Oh wait, I want to see this. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'll find, I'll find I'd find any helpful clues in there, in the trees, but who knows? Maybe I should try again. There were some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Good call. So I guess no one is here. I guess the next place we can check out is the... Precinct. Criminal Affairs Department to see Gumshoe. Who's that man in the back? What the heck is that blue creature on the right? What is that? I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Hold on, I need to check out something. Who's this man? I can search him. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gore Lake? Gordy sighted? I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Also, look at how old these computers are. They're so old. What year is this? Who's that man? Who's that plushie? Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger. Blue Badger? It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. You leave me alone. I did that. And me, I did that. I'm a big boy now. I see. How nice. I'll get him a signed mask out of the Criminal Affairs, Criminal Affairs Department, if it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. The Blue Badger, that's interesting. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's the latest babes in uniform calendar? What? My bad. Where's the numbers? Did they rip off the calendar part and just keep the picture up? That's disgusting. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Alright, hands against the wall, all of ya. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. He must be doing image training for a rest. Wow, they're doing hard work, everybody. These are the detective's desk. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desk. Looks like they don't. Alright, cool. Let's talk to Detective Gumshoe. Who's that dog? Who's that Pokemon? Alright, that's a blank. He's drawing a blank on my badge, too? What? Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeruff said anything? 
Not a word. Oh no, so how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal, you're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Wait, Edgeworth's human? Still, I get the feeling that if he's done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Um... Hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Trust in Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets the defendant to clear guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I worked extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he placed in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Let's see, time of death, sometime on Christmas Eve or Christmas, the cause was one bullet shot to the heart. Straight to the heart, and you're to blame, you give love a bad name. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face? Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Ah, huh, have you? Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. Well, thank you, Edgeworth. Let's go check on Edgeworth. Edgeworth is gone. What is it? Oh, a feeling. Nothing, just something that's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Ah. Huh. What's going on? Is, is that image? Something with that image is, like, bugging her. Hey, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office meal work that. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Grossberg? I think it's Grossberg, not Grossberg. Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him. For old time's sake. Of course, why not? Who is that with the camera? A lot of something? Let's go talk to her about that photograph. Nick, this person was a lawyer at Grossberg's office. Let's go talk to him. Mr. Grossberg, I mean, not the dead guy. Mr. Grossberg, I mean, not the dead guy. I want to talk to the dead guy. Oh, the painting is still not there. It's still at Red White's office. It's been a while since I was here last. Mr. Grossberg is out as usual. Hey, Nick, look at the wall. That painting is still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track of all of White's extortion and blackmail rackets. Yes, she did. Why is the wall there a bit a different color? A big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh, what happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to someone romantic, some romantic interest. Love Bloom's eternal- Oh! Oh my goodness, a callback to Phoenix calling Grossberg and Red White lovers instead of blackmailing. You two are lovers! Maya's like, yep, I ship them. She ships them. Kinda weird, though. Uh, yeah. Hehehehehe. <laughs> An expensive pot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. I think our Charlie is cuter. Yes, he is. Right, he's a really cute plant. <laughs> Charlie's the cutest plant ever. 
A table for clients. Huh, an elegant ebony case, if I'm not mistaken, that lattice made out of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. We should put things on our client table, too. I'm not really into smoking. We could put out candy or gum. Classy. Very classy indeed. Candy and gum. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Hey, Nick, I want a desk like that in our office, too. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to set a desk like that yet. Huh? I meant for me. You better start saving your allowance, then. Maya gets an allowance? Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Ah, oh, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Well, then let's take them back to our office. He won't miss them. Uh, we don't need them. Then can we take that wooden bear? Can we take the wooden bear? Ah, oh, it is kind of cute. Yes. Let's get the wooden bear, everybody. Let's steal it. I mean, borrow it. Let's borrow the bear. I want to... I want to borrow the bear, please. I want to borrow the bear. Well, let's get back to a lot of heart, I guess. Hopefully she has more updates. Oh, there she is. Hey, y'all. Lotta. Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is dumb. Take a look. Oh. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. I seen a bullfrog die once. It was really funny. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? That a bullfrog died in front of me once. I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. That bullfrog did it. What? Oh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so, I reckon no. What shall we reckon? Shall we reckon so or no? I love, I love you the one. I reckon so, I reckon no. Ooh. You reckon no, reckon no, reckon no. I, 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 I'm gonna reckon no. I reckon no. I reckon no. What's that? Now, don't y'all think y'all can pull one over on me just here because you speak the lingo? I know enough to know that when you see a murder, you best tell the cops. It's my obligation as a citizen. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? T tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I was born later than the bullfrog. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on side of justice. And that means the cops. I soon, I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than you have to tell you. Ew. But Lotta. Don't you let it get your skibbies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. But was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot time. She left. She left all her stuff behind. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she say? I guess we'll f find out in the trial tomorrow. Well, we got that really weird photo. Alright, I guess we'll just get out of here. Oh, we're gonna get a samurai dog? I hope we get a dog now. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Santa Claus? Ah! And Nick! I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick. Wait, Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous! Dude, it's me! Wait! Larry? It's Larry Claus! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious I'm working my day job? I sell samurai dogs, want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know, my girl Kiyonce, Kiyonce! Who, who, names, who names their children Kiyonce? 
My girl Kiyonse deserves the best. Kiyonse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kiyonse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was like, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That... That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute! Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? N no, she's not! I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister. N no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh, sounds great! Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. Hold on, like, why is he talking about- I'm like 20-something, she's 17, and he's 23 saying she's hot? That is kinda weird. Larry Butts is a weirdo. Here, look at my badge. Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. So, sorry, I can't really pay ya. Cause you blow it all on Keyonce. But you can have all the dogs you want. Really? Larry, if you let her at your dog, she won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem. That's what makes her happy, you know? How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? I did it. What's that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? But Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate. What? Is he a high school dropout? I was talking about that weird contraption on the camera. Oh, that. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, don't go showing me. Don't show. Don't go showing me it then. Jeez. Hey, Larry. You know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well. Well, nobody knows. <laughs> well, what's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Yeah, do you know anything about that? Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keyonce, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ugh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Huh? I think we just said caught him off guard, Maya. N no, it's just... Keyonce's not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, Nate. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick? Why will Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Larry Butts knows Edgeworth? What? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, whoa murder? Huh, you know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy, that's a nickname. <laughs> Edgeworth's all Edgy now. He's on the edge. Little Edgy's on the edge. Edgy, Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Little Edgy. I want to see Little Edgy. Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. But why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look like, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was Keyonce's idea. She was, oh, she's my woman, woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get, can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake, what with the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth, what's your class me, Larry? Yeah, Nick, Kim, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a, stuck in the, a stick in the mud, studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father. Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow, wait, 
You said the defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? edgeworth has got a proboscis on his knee? Yes. No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's due to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? No, I don't. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. A uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. That's a photo. Wow, it's, it's really real. And thanks to HD, you can tell that looks really bad. Also, what's with their eyes? I'm looking at a creepypasta here. Um, yeah, it's probably just a lug or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Oh, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Uh, I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. What, one million? Grow up, Larry. We got the Gordy article. It's hot news, everybody. You gotta listen to the hot news. That's clickbait material right there. This is clickbait. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm just a simple vendor of samurai dogs, dig? You gave it to us! What do you mean you don't know? What? This guy does know. He's just playing stupid. Hmm, let's see. Maybe back at our office? Nick, if we don't hurry, Mr. Edgeworth will get the death sentence. Whoa, okay. Let's go check things out. Okay, I guess you don't want to talk about the article then. Edgeworth's not back yet. Who's free? Grossberg? I think. Ahem! Ah, that old familiar cling of the throat. Uh-huh, you're me as something, are you not? That was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Uh-huh, and you, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Yeah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Mm hmm Uh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Yes, my badge. You've really grown up in the past few years, my dear. How proud Mia would be if she could see you now. She said she was more worried about me than anything. Oh, just go on and take the compliment, will you? So this camera on the lake takes a photo whenever it hears an explosion sound? That's what she said. And it just happens to be, to be set up on the beach, pointing out on the lake. Yes, she said it was to photograph shooting stars. Uh, shooting stars, explosions, what's the connection? I'd be suspicious of this witness of yours. He's saying that Lada is a liar. Huh? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Ooh. So this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yes. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, he doesn't know about the article, okay. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I just got up, you see. Well, you got up just like that? What? Do you dress the same every day, you weirdo? Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth, what? Well, who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. Th this is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? 
Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just dessert. Old, bitter dessert. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so out of loss they used the spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Faye, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But... The case was at a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. N no please don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that have to, what does that case have to do anything with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? That is a connection right there! If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. That? Oh, we saw that photo before in case two. So that's her mother. Oh no. Oh wait, what? I got a message, hold on. I got a cool message here. Oh! That looks amazing! That looks amazing! I love it! Oh no, it, um, if you're wondering what's going on, it's just that... Dude, I got a commission on bit badges, and I gotta say they look fantastic. I'll show them if you want to see them. Those are, these are some of the bit badges right here. Can you see them clearly? The Animal Crossing leaves, one, one silver and one shiny silver. So it's like, I want, I want the leaves to look pixelated because pixels by night and the game that just came up in my, the, and a game that came up in my head, Animal Crossing. I was like, this is perfect. This is absolutely just perfect to do. That is something I can, that's something I like. And I'm glad that they're being made right now. Alright, let's go check out with Edgeworth now. Edgeworth's back. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Aw, oh, poor Edgy. Speaking of bits, you should change the bit donation sound to an Animal Crossing sound effect or something. I probably should. To match it, right? I'll try to find some. Can I ask you about the murder? By the way, CB, what sound do you think it should make? What sound? Like... I know there's a lot of sounds. Like, is it the shock sound or the... The, I don't know, something. There's like a lot of sound effects. Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Please try to understand. Actually, just let me try my, I'm gonna try my regular voice. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Why did you go to Gore Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Oh yeah, let's show the photo though. <laughs> Edgeworth? 
It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Poor Reggie. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Oh! Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium then they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond... And Hammond is the victim in the Gore Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium... That was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This... About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case statute of limitation runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view and nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? He was... Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, gee. Hopefully he can tell me something about the lake photo. <sighs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? <coughs> Sorry, Edgy, no way! Right? Nick? Hey, don't look so serious, guys! I was kidding! <laughs> just a little joke! Just, just pranking your bra! There was nothing little or joke-like about it! I thought it was funny. Nick, do it over! Yes, your honor. How could I refuse you, Edgeworth? Thank you, right. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. There we go. We got his request. Well, I guess we should. Huh? What, what was that? An earthquake! Wait, earthquake? It's a big one! Wah! It's coming down! Random earthquake out of nowhere? That was scary. Wait, huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball shivering- Oh, Poor Edgy. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. 
We have to get Vegworth's letter of request to the gumshoe. Poor Edgy. I'm so sorry for him. What's going on here? Huh? Well, what's wrong, detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, saying she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Lot of heart. Where are you going around finding more witnesses? Y'all want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ugh. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. How about we just give the... Let's check the photo out. Hey, pal, there's only one thing I want to see from you, and that's a letter of request from Mr. Edgeworth for you to be his defense attorney. All right, here you go. Look what I got. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. We'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I, I lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Ugh. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two go eat and get your breast for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth for earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. Oh. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. I wonder too. To be continued. And we will continue that on Sunday. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. That was part one. Day one of Turnabout Goodbyes. That was pretty interesting, but we will tackle the case in court on Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when we have more time to actually stream it. So until next time, everybody, adios.